Hello everyone, so today I will be making a classic Danish summer recipe. And the results are pretty nice as you can see here. So these are the ingredients that we will be using in the kitchen today and we won't just be using the uh, cauliflower and shrimps we will also be making a homemade muslin sauce as well <clears throat> but first you start with cutting off the uh, leaves from the cauliflower and then the stilk and then you can cut an X into the uh, bottom of it. This makes the uh, boiling process a little bit faster. So the recipe takes us back to the 80s where it was cooked in the Danish kitchens um, but it's still used today and it can especially be found at your grandparents house if you go to a Danish family at least but the tomato then you just cut it into boats and we will be using those at the end of it for the lemon then I would roll it on a cutting board in order to get all the juices into the uh, the lemon a bit better then you just cut it in half and you extract the, uh, the juice from it and then you cut a few chives for garnish And then you boil two eggs for 10 minutes in order to get them hard boiled and then into cold water, icy water if you have that and then you just cut those into boats as well. So while we wait for the cauliflower to cool down a little bit, we can do some calligraphy. Today we are writing Mugen Hoyo, which means uh, a dream like a bubble. And that means basically that the human life is very limited. It's not eternal, it's not very long at all. So you should take advantage of every single day that you go through. So please keep that in mind for today as well. But let's go back for cooking again. So if you want to do the muslin sauce as well, then you heat up a pan on low heat and then you put in uh, about 100 grams of uh, butter and let that uh, melt on the pan. And then you take two yolks, you salt those with a little bit of salt and then you whisk them together. Yes, and into a pot, then you add in the lemon juice that we made before. Then you whisk it together on very, very low heat. If you mix it with too high heat, then they will separate. So please keep it on very low heat. Then you mix in the butter, the melted butter. And then once that's done, then you can whisk in a bit of heavy cream. Once that is added, then you mix that together. And then you get this creamy color sauce. Then you can add a little bit of white pepper and just taste it with salt if you need more salt. And then it's done. Then you add in on the, uh, the sauce first 
and then the strips and we make it very luxury today so we add a lot of shrimps a whole mountain there and then you can add the chives and the dill if you have hand-picked dill that is classic at least and then you can just surround the cauliflower with the boats of uh, eggs and tomatoes and then that's pretty much done and there you have it so we finished the, uh, the cauliflower recipe here let's just stick in It is super nice. It is, but it, it's a classic starter. So usually people they don't need it for like a main course. You can eat it with some bread if you want to eat this as a, a main course. But the the sauce is a bit sour. So if you like it less sour, soury, then you can always add a little bit of mayonnaise to freshen it up a little bit. So. If you, if you want to watch more Danish recipes, then click on this video up here, and otherwise then I'll see you next time. If you want to see more classic Danish recipes, then comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe so you won't miss them out when we post.